I'm Pam Kaufman, Curator of Education here at the Museum of Art in DeLand. And I wanted to talk to you a little bit about this painting, or this print by Jacob Lawrence. It's a lithograph. And Lawrence was one of the most important artists of the Harlem Renaissance era. And when you look at his work, one of the things that really stands out is his bold use of color. Very flat, very graphic kind of design. He also worked with a very abstract kind of uh, style. His work isn't very realistic in the sense that his, form, his figures are very geometric looking. Um, there's a lot of rhythm and movement in his work, but it's also very abstract. And one of the things that Lawrence wanted to do with his work was he wanted to tell stories. He was a storyteller, and he wanted to tell stories about the lives of African Americans, the history of African Americans, but he wanted to make it universal. And that's one reason he abstracted the work. He didn't want to set it in a time period that would confine it to a specific time period. He wanted it to have a more universal appeal and be something that people could look at over time and identify with. And so he did that through his abstraction. And then if you look at this piece, you know, we have men just doing what people do every day. They're building. We have two children down here that are playing, probably going to get in trouble when they're done. Um, so he's just kind of showing everyday life and he's giving a certain dignity to it because he felt it was important enough to make art about their everyday life. This exhibition that we have is an exhibition of African American art starting with the 19th century, going through the 20th century, and some contemporary art as well. And it really focuses on artists of the Harlem Renaissance. Almost every piece of art in this exhibition is a piece by a major artist during the Harlem Renaissance era. And so that's one reason why it's so important that that exhibition is here, that it's been pulled together and it's in one place. You, you probably couldn't see this any place else because it was pulled together very thoughtfully from private collectors and also from the ACA Gallery in New York. So as you look around in, this, in the gallery, we have so many African American artists that were instrumental to the, the Harlem Renaissance. One is Augusta Savage. Um, she was a Florida artist. She's probably best known for her sculpture called The Harp, which was done for the 1939 World's Fair. And it was 16 feet tall. We have a small version because the 16 foot tall version was destroyed at the end of the fair because there wasn't funds to cast it in bronze and it was made in plaster. We also have Faith Ringgold, who was another important artist in the Harlem Renaissance. Even though she was young during the Harlem Renaissance, she's still considered part of that Harlem Renaissance era. And she's best known for her story quilts. Uh, again, she's talking about African American life. She's talking about the stories of the people. And the fact that she's working with quilts, which is what we're showing here, that's a very traditional African American art form and a craft form that the slaves used. They used every little bit of their materials that they had to create blankets, to create their quilts. And so Faith took that, plus the, the background she had from her mother who was a fashion designer and a dressmaker, and she took that, and, and again, in a way, she was honoring something that was considered craft and woman's work and handiwork and turning it into fine art. We also have Romare Bearden, another very important artist from the, jet, from the um, Harlem Renaissance era. And he was young during that time, and in fact, he was a student of Augusta Savage at the, during the Harlem Renaissance. But he was very involved with the jazz aspect of the Harlem Renaissance. He actually wrote some jazz music at one point in time. Um, he played and was involved with the jazz. And so his work really reflects that. And later in his career, he moved from painting to collage. And we have one of his collages here. And his collages were pieces that, again, like Jacob Lawrence, it talked about everyday life in the Harlem Renaissance. It talked about the African-American history and the culture and the people and the jazz and all of the things that made that time period and the culture so unique. So again, every piece of art in this exhibition was done by someone who was really important to the Harlem Renaissance or when you get into the more contemporary pieces, artists that were influenced by artists that set the stage in the Harlem Renaissance that made it all right for an African-American art, an African-American to be an artist because prior to the Harlem Renaissance, 
you weren't going to find that. They, they just didn't have that opportunity. I think this show is really important for people because it gives you a great deal of history. You get to see art that you might never get to see in one place from these various artists. It also gives you an opportunity to learn about the Harlem Renaissance, the contributions that African American artists have made, and to think about things that, that we might think just happened a long time ago but are really relevant today. They're topics that are brought up in these pieces that we're still having the conversations today. And I think that's extremely important. And it's timely with what is going on in the world today. So I would encourage people to come see this exhibition. Um, it's here through March 17th. And again, they might not have the opportunity to see something like this all in one place um, without having to travel to many different places to go and see it.